Hello, this is Elaine and Weiwei presenting the quality improvement results for an online learning initiative developed at the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy, led by faculty member Sertina Ho. We used the virtual interactive case or VIC system and created patient or medication safety online teaching modules that focused on three processes: one, medication incident disclosure; two, root cause analysis; and three, failure mode and effects analysis. The VIC teaching modules were pilot tested in May 2020. A 16-item online questionnaire was given to pharmacists and pharmacy students in Ontario in June 2020 to assess user experience. Our 18 respondents contained a good mix of licensed pharmacists and pharmacy students, with most of them having at least one year of practice experience. Based on the results of our online questionnaire, the VIC teaching modules were perceived to be relevant and applicable to patient care settings and helpful with enhancing patient safety in practice. They left most respondents confident in implementing the processes that were introduced. Most of the respondents agreed that the material presented was clear and easy to follow, feasible to implement in a patient care setting, and increased their knowledge about patient or medication safety. Here are some highlights of the respondents' comments. They generally found the modules to be clear and easy to follow, and the scenarios to be realistic. A few respondents indicated areas that the modules could be improved on, such as calling for better utilization of the interactive nature of the VIC platform to increase learner engagement and putting text-heavy didactic contents in other formats. In conclusion, the VIC teaching modules were well received. The use of the VIC platform can be extended to other areas of pharmacy practice as well, such as training for minor ailment prescribing or stimulating community health scenarios for both healthcare practitioners and students. This online format may be valuable and applicable with the transition to online teaching and learning in the current COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you for watching.